All right, guys, so now it's time for part two of This or That, Walt Disney World Rides. Enjoy. People mover? Well, it's actually called something else, but I'm going with people mover. That's people what, know it by the people mover? Yeah. And, or, excuse me, not and, or the Walt Disney World Railroad. Um, It's going to be people mover. Um, I love people watching and I love like getting a drink and sitting on a bench and just watching people. That's a favorite pastime of mine. But on people mover, it puts a whole new level to it. Like, I can watch people and they have no idea I'm watching them because I'm way high up in the sky. Um, I also like it when we went for the Halloween party. Um, when we went that trip, mm-hmm. we were on the people mover when the fireworks were happening one night. And it was just so magical yeah. seeing it from that perspective. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to say people mover. I'm going to say the railroad. Are they going to open the railroad back up, though? Like, I don't know. They've been doing construction on that thing for a while. I like the railroad mainly because you can just get on it and just keep going around and yeah. around and around. The railroad is a good... Um, Relaxation. Right, like, because you get tired walking through Disney World. So, because it stops in so many places in the park, you can hop on the railroad and take it over to Fantasyland mm-hmm. and not have to deal with, one, the crowds... And two, walking all the way over there. Um, Because it's not, like, it's super close. It's pretty far. Uh, Same thing with going back to the entrance. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been times we went uh, one time in January. And we had fast passes for, like, 11 o'clock in the morning, I think it was. And we got there, because, you know, you have a window. And we got there right when the window started. We scanned our magic bands to get in. um, And we hopped on the railroad and got over to Big Thunder. Yeah. In less than five minutes, so it was nice. That was a smart thing to do. Yep. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, this is going to be hard for you. What you got? Star Wars Rise of the Resistance or Mm -hmm. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. So both of these are in Hollywood Studios, Mm -hmm. part of the new Star Wars land. I'm going to say Rise of the Resistance. Fully immersive. Just all around good ride. Start to finish, quite possibly to me, best ride at Disney World right now. I mean, except for when like the Tron light cycle comes and then... You don't even know what that's going to be like. Guardians of the Galaxy um, ride. I wouldn't say that's the best ride. We'll talk about that at the end. Um, But I would agree with you. Rise of the Resistance is very good. It is fully immersive. Um, It's a good ride. Yeah. We wrote it twice on our last trip. Yeah. But, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to get in boarding groups. Like, yeah. we went specifically two different days so that we could get another boarding group for yeah. this ride. Um, you can't ride it two times in the same day. No. All right, here we go. Two scary rides. Haunted scary? Mansion or Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all. Yeah. I can't even tell you how much I hate Tower of Terror. Um, I mean, I'm going to say Haunted Mansion because I hate Tower of Terror so much. We need to find the picture and put it in. Of Tower of Of me on Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Y'all, I'm literally... I know what's going to happen. I've ridden it so many times. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> but I still held on to my lap band and held on to Michael's across from him because the the... Handrails are beside you. Yeah. So I held on to mine here and then held on to his over here. I knew that we were not going anywhere. Like, we were, you know, safety belted in. But And then I was screaming so loud and I was wearing my mask. You can actually see the outline of my scream in my mask. Because I was like, ah. You can see <laughs> How are you again? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to find that picture and show you guys. So I'm gonna say Tower of Terror because I love the story. I love the. I like the behind the scenes piece of it. I mean, knowing, like knowing how everything works, like yeah. that's fun. Like, there's so many things to that ride that are just amazing. The story is amazing. The ride mechanism itself is amazing. Yeah, it's just a good ride. I'm sorry, good ride. 
Haunted Mansion is funny, but Tower of Terror has a, a, a scariness to it. Okie dokie. Okay, two classics. Peter Pan's Flight or The Mini Adventures of Weenie the Pooh. You put Winner the Pooh. <laughs> Did I put that? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weenie the Pooh. Winner the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking strictly the ride. Yeah, just the ride. Just no the characters, because I know that's... <laughs> if we're talking strictly the ride, I'm going to say um, Peter Pan's Flight. Because I like the aspect of the way you're kind of in the air. And going up and mm-hmm. down, um, getting to see everything from a bird's a, eye, a bird's eye, and like you're you're flying, almost pixie dust in a way. Pixie dust in a way. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna choose the mini adventures of Weenie the Pooh. Um, mostly as a child, I really loved Tigger. Um, and then I have a lot of memories about our. Meet and greet yeah. with Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, which was a lot of fun, and I really wish that we were vlogging them, because that would have been really great to get on video. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Simple enough. Next. All right, here's the last one, people. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Da, da, da. Toy Story Mania or Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. Buzz Lightyear's. Why do you say that? Um, I like the story and like you're defeating Zerg and you're shooting to get points. Yeah. I like that idea. Whereas Toy Story Mania, like the handles are weird. The cord that you have to pull is weird. Yeah. I'm not good at that one at <laughs> all. Um, plus we have it on Wii. Like, yeah. it's not, I mean, we could play it here. It's not. It's just an arcade. It's arcade games. It's not. Um, it's not that it's not fun, but it's much more fun at a Wii where I can point at it and like yell at the kids. Whereas, <laughs> whenever we're riding it together, I can only talk to the person beside me, and there's five of us. Like it's just, it makes it really complicated for me. I like Buzz Lightyear better. The shooting aspect of it is is better. Um, the Toy Story Mania, the whole... It's so weird, y'all. It's annoying. It's so, it's like a string. It's like a steering yeah. wheel with a string in the center and a ball at the end of the string. And you put the ball like, between your fingers yep. and pull. It's just... It's really awkward. It's not fun. Yeah, so... Buzz Lightyear. All day, every day. Okay, so bonus round. Okay. Favorite ride in all of Walt Disney World. Now my favorite ride is Rise of the Resistance. Okay. But we, we've already talked about how awesome that ride is. Yeah. Mine is the new ride, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. Is it Mickey and Minnie's? Mickey, Mickey and Minnie's, Minnie's. Yeah. Runaway Railway. It's so cute. It's so fun. It takes like, it takes you into all of the different characters, like life and kind of, not their life, but like different aspects of, of their personality. Um... It's just so much fun. I love it so much. It is a good ride. The only thing I wish is that, well, I hope that after all the social distancing stuff is done, hopefully whenever, soon, maybe, probably not, that we'll be able to go through the pre-show of it. Yeah. Like yeah, with Goofy right. running the train through the screen and sure. all Sure. Um, because... Right now, I mean, we were socially distanced. It's in the Chinese theater, and they redid a lot of the uh, marquee signs yeah. related to the thing. But some of the signs are the old signs, which are that's nostalgic and fun for people that are really familiar with the Chinese theater and kind of what's been there for so long. Um, the Great Movie Ride was there, so it's just it's very nostalgic. Um, but there's so many pieces. Like yeah. they just rushed us through because they didn't have a show there because yeah. of social distancing and all of those pieces. So, and it took them forever to get this ride open. Yeah. And then as soon as they opened, they did the shutdown. Yep. So, it was just it was really frustrating. Um I really really hope that Disney does something about um I know right now like they have decreased admissions and different things, which has been great. Like yeah. when we went, we had almost no lines, 
But even, like, the first day we went to Hollywood Studios, we went into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, railway first. Um, and it was right before park opened that we got in line, and it still took us almost an hour. Yeah. Um, like, that's disappointing. Like, it's it's already decreased admissions. Everyone's socially distanced. Like, it was fine. But there's a lot of other really good rides. Like, I really, I really hope that they either do, like... What is it called with Rise of the Resistance? The boarding pass system. Either a boarding pass system or a fast pass system, like something specifically for those rides so that you don't have that really long wait. Yeah. Because whenever we got in line for our boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance the first day, it took us forever to get a boarding pass because we were in a crowd of people. The second day when we went, we went up closer to Tower of Terror no, had no I problem know. getting a boarding pass and actually got in the top five. Yeah. We got boarding pass five, right? Yep. Boarding group five. Whereas the first day, we were like in the 40s or 50s. Yes. So we had to wait until later in the day, which is fine. Like, it was just us, and we were going to plan to spend that time there anyway. It wasn't an issue, per se, but I wish that they would do something like that for the newer rides so that it's not such an issue of standing in line. I think with them as they continue to develop the system of the boarding pass system Mm -hmm. i think they will do that but with the way that mm, mickey and minnie's is always flowing i don't think that they will put the boarding pass system on that ride now for like the the like the guardians of the galaxy ride that might be something and even for the tron light cycle ride yeah because those rides are so, and even maybe with Remy's as well when it opens, um, those rides are supposed to be opening and and available around the fifty, oh, not fifty, yeah, fiftieth yeah, year 50th anniversary. anniversary. So that's a, a big thing. Sorry guys, I keep on not looking directly at you guys because <laughs> I'm looking over at the Christmas tree and it, I just think. <laughs> so, but um, you know, those rides are supposed to be opening hopefully, for. For or before or around the time of the 50th, 50th anniversary, anniversary of Magic, of Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. And, I mean, you got to think, like, the Tron ride is going to be crazy. Yeah, just imagine how low all of the other lines are going to be because yeah. of that ride. So, the Magic Kingdom hasn't had a new ride since... Seven Dwarfs. Yep, and that was 2016? Mm-hmm. 2015? Something like Somewhere that? Somewhere up in there. It's crazy. We were there the, the first week that it opened. Why are you pointing like that? We were there. We didn't but ride it. But we didn't it. ride it. But the second night that we were there. It caught fire. Caught fire. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. It was so crazy. Yeah, we didn't we didn't ride it. Um, no. We didn't get fast passes for it. We didn't even. Nope. But, but we out. also had Zachary was three. Yeah. Noah was one. Yeah. Like. And my sister was there. Like, we could have figured out a way to be able to take turns to ride it, but... Um, not standing in line at that time. Y'all yeah, think the lines are... L- line. Line. You think the lines are long now? Nope. I feel like it was longer then. Oh, yeah. I mean, what at one point we walked through and the line was three hours long. Yeah. For a roller coaster. No, thanks. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm not about... It. And then the other piece of that is we've been a lot of times, like... Yeah. We've ridden every single ride. Well, except for me with Flight of Passage. Yeah. But, like, every other ride we've ridden multiple times. So, for us, it's not a, oh, I have to ride this because I've never ridden it before. Yeah. It's a, that's an hour long? No thanks. It's not worth that for me. And it's just to each his own. Whatever yeah. works best for you. Now, I will say this. If you have specific rides that you want to ride and they are allowing for, like, early morning magic that's at Magic Kingdom or... Uh, after hours events, spend the money. It's always worth it. Spend the money. If you can do it, it. because it gives you a sense of not having to rush, being able to enjoy the, the other time you have at the park. It makes sense. Yes, it's roughly $100 of extra a person. Well, it depends on which one you choose to. Like, yeah. We went to, the first one we did was the early morning magic. Mm-hmm. And it was um, $60 for each adult and 30 or 40 for each kid. But for that, we got into the park two hours before park opened. So we could get in as early as 7 a.m. 
Um, we had unlimited access to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Weenie the Pooh, Peter Pan's Flight, Peter Pan's Flight. And there was another one. Um, Dumbo. I don't know. There was another one, but okay. So we went straight to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and we rode that. We didn't even have to get out of the lane line all the way. Um, we wrote and got right back in. So we rode it like six or seven times, yeah. and before it was even seven thirty, and then we went and split up. Some of us rode Peter Pan, some of us rode Winnie the Pooh. Um, and you can ride those rides as many times as you want. And then a lot of times the other rides open up early as well, even though they're not a part of the early morning magic. So you can go ride those rides before everything gets busy. We went and rode um, Buzz Lightyear. And then you get breakfast. Yep. So, and breakfast doesn't close until 10. So you can go ride everything. And we went and ate at like 930 um, and it was good food. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. And then you have unlimited drinks. Um, we really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then we could go and we moved on to other parts of the park because we had a fast pass for Space Mountain later in the day. So we went ahead over into Frontierland and there was no one there because everybody was in, you know, the right hand side of the park. Tomorrowland. And Fantasyland. Yeah. So, um... We were able to hit out the other two sides of the park and then come back and do more in, you know, fantasy and Tomorrowland. So it's just it's just about planning the park and knowing what you want to ride. Um, I definitely recommend doing some point of view videos. Tim Tracker has a lot of really good one, good ones. Um, Michael K has a lot of good ones. Uh, uh, who else? Prince Charming Dev does. Yeah, some. Prince Charming Dev has some. Um, um, just to see different people's yeah. perspective on it too. For us personally, it's just about doing what you want to do. And we always, like, whenever we travel with the kids, um, in case you didn't know this, I'm a control freak when it comes to this, I literally gave them a list of all of the rides um, in the park, and they had to rate them on one, I don't want to ride it, or five, I want to ride it. And then I got a really good idea of what they wanted to ride. Right. So that we could make sure we hit everybody's interests. And then at some points during our, our trip in August a couple of years ago, we would split off. Like, we would be in the same park, but, like, I might take Noah and Dylan to go do something, and you took Zach to go do something, because he's the only one that wanted to do this. Right. So, you know, it's just, you have to make it your own. You pay way too much money to go on vacation to be stressed out because you don't plan ahead. And it's you definitely so, I mean, want to plan ahead if you're going to Disney. Going to Disney World, I feel like... You should, once you know your dates, your your actual hardcore timing and planning needs to be happening starting about six months before you're going. Call me crazy, but you've got to start thinking about where you want to eat, your fast passes, mm -hmm. you know, all those things, how you want to get around the parks. And yes, it's a little different right now, but once things relax more. and mm -hmm. everything's normal, Everybody's going to be rushing to get back there, and everybody's going to try to do it at the same time. Yeah. Uh, sad thing to say, but it is. It's the truth. Yeah. All right, guys. This was enjoyed. fun. Yeah. I love talking about Disney. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Washing. Watching. We got Winter the Pooh, and we're washing it now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you want to let us know what your favorite ride is at Disney World, Please leave it in the comments below. We love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.